Hi, my name is Javier Baez, director of SpanishTO.com. Today we're going to learn the pronunciation of words in Spanish. Palabras. In Spanish, we actually have three rules to determine the pronunciation of words. The first rule is the consonante. If a word ends in a consonant, like for example, R, then all you have to do is stress the ending of the word, the last syllable. An example would be the word amor. So all you have to do is stress more. Once again, amor. Another example would be uh, verbs. For instance, the verb tomar. Tomar means to drink. And of course, everybody knows what amor means, love. Okay, so if the word ends in a consonant, all you have to do is stress the last syllable in the word. Rule number two, the rule of the vocal, the vowel rule. If the word ends in a vowel, for example, a, e, i, o, u, then all you have to do is stress the, the word in the second last syllable. So you no longer stress in the end, for example, in the word amigo, you can no, no longer stress in the end, you will have to go to the second last syllable and pronounce mi, amigo. It's important to know that 70% of words in Spanish are pronounced like amigo. It's a very popular way to say your words in Spanish. So remember, if the word ends in a, e, i, o, u, then you stress the second last syllable. Another important thing about rule number two is that there are two consonants that have to be included here, n or s. If you add the letter s to the word amigo, in this case amigos, the pronunciation or the intonation of the word does not change. So the vowel rule actually has two uh, consonants in it which are not accounted for the first rule. Third rule, we call that the tilde rule. The tilde is a symbol like that that is put on top of a word, like in, for example, Canada, and it indicates that now you have to stress the word in that syllable. Canada. Why, why is that? Well, if you take away the sound, the, the tilde, from the word Canada, then you will have to pronounce it like in the vowel rule, like in the amigo rule. So it will be Canada. So that obviously does not sound good to us, and then we simply adjust that with the tilde. If you try at the top here in ka, it would sound more like English, Canada. If you put it at the end, Canada, it would sound more like Spanish. Therefore, we put the tilde on the last syllable, and then we pronounce it with the intonation of in da, Canada. Another example would be the word música. Once again, if you say música, you sound Spanish. If you take the tilde away, then you will have to say música. Musica does not sound Spanish. So the reason you have tildes is to adjust the sounds, uh, the, the, the intonation of the words, so they sound more like Spanish. So in, to summarize, we have three rules to pronounce uh, the, the words in Spanish. The amor rule, you can use amor as your template, the amigo rule, and the tilde rule. Thank you.